So what the idea was that we wanted to take craft to the street. So the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen has eight retail galleries, fine craft galleries throughout our state. We also produce what is one of the most iconic events in the state, which is our annual Craftsman's Fair. And I decided with my peers in the organization that we needed to bring younger people into the league or to make them aware of us because so many people don't know who we are. So by taking it, taking it to the street, we meant bringing a craft show to Main Street in Concord. What my process is one of carving into it and I'm cutting through the patina to get to the fresher stone underneath. But it's just sunken relief carving. And they have larger chisels, but you see all these little white marks, that's the marks of it, and that fills it in and gives it a sense of volume to it. So first you throw it, and then when it's a certain temperature, I have to put the handle on it. When it's completely dry, I'll paint the decoration and then it gets fired at a low fire which sets the glaze, sets the painting, and also makes it hard enough so that I can dip it into the glaze bucket. And then it gets fired at a high temperature, 2232, in my large gas kiln. I do wheel thrown pottery, I work in stoneware, and I have a nature theme on my pieces, birch, mountains, um, vines, I, I try to use earth tone colors that represent the, the water and the uh, autumn of New Hampshire. So what, what you're looking at here is uh, silk screen prints. Silk screen is the process where you print, print with stencils and a, and a piece of fabric. Uh, it's a very old process. Uh, what you're looking at here is for each color you see, there's a different stencil printed one at a time to, uh, to make the, the print. Usually the works are between 7 and 12 colors. Each piece that I cut, I, I use an oxyacetylene torch and I draw the design out on the steel plate and then I cut them with the oxyacetylene torch. And then I have to grind each one and then like in between here, all of these sections, you can't get a grinder in there so I actually hand file with files each individual branch or you know whatever I'm working on I file them so they're all finished out. I'm a fiber artist, I'm a hand weaver and my favorite thing to make are textiles for the home. When I sit down to weave I, it's a very physical activity. I use my hands and feet to create cloth. These are collages made with fabric so they're sort of quilted, they're sort of painting with fabric. It's kind of a combination. I used to be a painter and a quilter, so I've sort of combined the two. Depending on what I'm making, uh, I've coil potted glass rods to make a hollow object, or I'm working with tubing. For example, these ornaments over here are all made from tubing. Um, these pieces here are made from coil potting solid glass rods. And I have 100% soy candles that I make. I also hand stir them individually. They're all very unique in swirls, and every candle is very different. So this is my first art fair. I wanted to see what people respond to, what the public wants. So I do some abstract landscapes. I also do these little drawings on tea bags, and then I dip them into beeswax. It's a little bit of everything. We've had a great crowd. It's so exciting. You know, an inaugural show, a new event is always something that you put a lot of hope and trust and faith in to develop. And um, our return this year is great. We've had great support from the community and beyond. We've had people from here, from way out of state, Massachusetts, Wisconsin. It's a pretty strict uh, jurying process to get into the league. They have really high standards of what they expect you to do and what they expect you to continue doing. Anything associated with the league, you're pretty much assured of fine quality. When people hear that you're a member of the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen, they know that your work is at a certain level of excellence, certain level of quality. A lot of the growth I've had as an artist here is, is I think, due to, due to the League. And I absolutely love the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen's extended community. Um, there's a lot of support there uh, for any kind of artist. Being a member of the League has helped me tremendously as an artist. I would just say don't miss the opportunity to see the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen on the street of Concord, New Hampshire. It's an incredible event. It's called the Capital Art Fest and we hope lots of people come down and enjoy what we have to offer.